Hi, I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Welcome to Extrication Minutes every Tuesday on Fire Engineering. This week, we're gonna talk about aluminum body structures. So before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to the Kimberly Fire Department from Kimberly, British Columbia. I appreciate the shirt, guys. Okay, let's talk about aluminum body structures. So first, we need to point out that if you haven't cut on an aluminum body structure yet, you will. Aluminum body structures and aluminum components on vehicles are growing rapidly in popularity. What we're finding that what we're finding is that as auto manufacturers attempt to keep up with the crash test standards and the environmental regulations, they're trying to make the vehicles lighter and stronger. And aluminum plays an important role in that. So when we're cutting aluminum, it's not the aluminum that we're used to talking about. It's not that soft, uh, flexible aluminum that you might imagine when you think about aluminum. So what do we need to know? Well, there's a ton that we could cover with aluminum body structures for vehicles. But in this quick video, we're just going to talk about some operational considerations and the aluminum that's being used. So again, it's not the aluminum we're used to. It's not soft, flexible, easy to rip type of aluminum. This is a very hard and very brittle type of aluminum that's used in vehicle construction. The Ford has been using it, Tesla uses it, and several other manufacturers are now making the entire body structure out of aluminum. So I said it wasn't flexible and it didn't rip real easily. Because of that, manufacturers often have different configurations and different body structure components than you see in traditional steel framed construction. So it's more important than ever that we tear away that that fender so that to, to reveal the upper rail when we're doing dash displacement and that we take a good look at the body structure features on all of our vehicles now because if you're dealing with an aluminum body structure it's going to be different than what you're used to so we can't assume anything okay so in addition to that aluminum that's being used in these body structures is extremely strong so we may find that our hydraulic rescue cutter or spreader may stall out for a few seconds before making that spread, breaking things loose, or making that cut. So be prepared for that. It doesn't cut, it typically breaks. So that's another thing we need to consider. It's gonna sound like we're cutting ultra high strength steel. It sounds a little like glass breaking when we finally break or cut through an aluminum body component. So be on the lookout for that aluminum body structure. In addition, we may find that when we're cutting, say an upper rail or a lower A pillar to do a dash displacement, or even a large C or D pillar, or even a B pillar that's made out of aluminum, we may find that we're only, our, our cutters may only encompass half of that pillar, but when we make that cut, it may crack all the way through. Again, it's very brittle, it likes to crack, it doesn't rip real easily. In addition, when we're doing dash displacement or other evolutions where it requires us to do a lot of relief cuts, we're going to want to make sure that it's very thorough, that we do very complete all the way through relief cuts because again, aluminum isn't going to rip as easily as the steel that we're used to cutting. I'm going to leave you with a quick video of cutting aluminum on a Tesla Model S. Take a look. Hey, thanks for watching this Extrication Minutes video. I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Take care and be safe.